Hi guys, Ron with Lucid Man Studio back with another video. So I've had a couple of YouTube users in the past ask me how I changed the theme in my Blender application. Um, as you can see here, um, I've got this theme going for me. Now this isn't the theme that I would particularly use, but this is a, an example of a drastic difference from the standard default user interface. The other thing that I like to do when I get a new version of Blender is I go ahead and increase the vertex size uh, representation. So you can see that the vertex dots here are much larger than the default version. So let's go ahead and do that. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna go to this site here. Now I'll go ahead and put the URL in the description for you to find this site. Um, but basically you can scroll down and you can see that there's lots of different themes that users have uploaded and they will end in this XML extension. So basically you're just gonna click on this, you'll download it, you'll get into a folder and you'll go ahead and load it into Blender. Now the one that I use is this one right here called odyssey.xml. And I'll also put this link in the description as well. So what you wanna do is when you're back in Blender, after you've downloaded the theme that you like, you're gonna go up to edit, go to preferences, and I'm gonna go ahead and install the one I like, which is Odyssey. So you can see I've installed the theme and it's totally changed the look of the interface. And I find this is a, is a really great theme. Now, the next thing I like to do, like I said, is increase the vertex size. So we'll go to 3D viewport, scroll down all the way to vertex size. And I'm just gonna put in something like six. Now you can change the color of this as well, these vertex dots. But however, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave them in black. I'm fine with that. And that's pretty much it. Uh, the other thing that I like to do is I can change over here in the outliner, I like to change the color of the uh, collection boxes. So if I wanted to change the one here called blockers to a different color, say I want to change it to red, all I do is right click and click on red and now it's a red box. And obviously we can turn that on or off, but uh, that's pretty much it. And if you like this video, just give me a like and don't forget to uh, subscribe. And if you feel like heading over to my Instagram page at Lucid Man Studio and following me or giving one of my images a like, I greatly appreciate it. And we'll see you down the road.